This is the first of a three-part series on basic training of the horse. In this first segment, we're going to cover three topics. Properly catching a horse in the pasture and then catching a young foal in a stall. Then we're going to discuss properly fitting a halter on a horse and the proper way to teach a horse to lead. In catching a horse in a pasture, you need to remember two things. To be patient and stay calm and quiet as you approach the horses. As you approach the horses, use the off fence as another person to drive the horses down. You need to make sure you stay back by the horse's hip as you drive them down the fence towards the corner. If you get in front of the horse's shoulder, then the horse will turn and go the opposite way because all animals have a driving point, and you should stay back by their hip to drive the horses down the fence. Once you've driven the horses quietly down the fence towards the corner, you should allow the horses to settle once you have reached the corner. Let them calm down, relax, and let them know everything's all right. Then one person should enter the group of horses approaching the horse at the shoulder, not up in front of his face. Once you have reached the horse's shoulder, gently reach up and pat the horse on the shoulder and rub him. Then slowly move your hand up and grasping the halter if the horse has a halter on. Once you have hold of the halter, then reach down and snap your lead shank onto the bottom ring of the halter. In carrying your lead shank down to the horse, you need to carry it in your left hand in a coiled position so that you have it readily available with your left hand on the snap so you can snap it into the ring as smoothly and quietly and easily as possible. Once you've accomplished this, then you can either hold that one horse there while another person catches another horse or gently move that horse away. If the horse does not have a halter on, then you need to progress a little bit more slowly as you move in towards the group of horses in the corner. As you move in, have the lead shank, lead shank again in your left hand. Have the end of the lead shank that does not have the snap on it in your right hand so that as you begin rubbing on the horse on its shoulder, you can drop this lead shank over the horse's mane. As it comes over the horse's mane and on the off side of his neck, slowly move that lead shank up around the throat latch and hold it with your left hand around the horse's throat latch. As once you've caught the horse like this, then open up your halter, drop it down so it comes around the horse's nose and gently lift it up over its head, trying to prevent the horse from spooking and turning and backing up on you. Once you have done this, then just slowly move the halter across the horse's head, snap it, and then reach down and snap your lead shank on the bottom of the halter. Once this has occurred, then you have the horse caught and you can slowly move him off. When catching a foal in the stall, you need to enter with two people, one person to catch the mare and the other one to catch the foal. Once the mare has been caught, then the other person needs to move quietly into the foal and try to move the foal away from the mare. Once the foal has been moved away from the mare, then the other person should move in and try to catch the foal. When you get the, close to the fold, you should use one arm to grasp the fold under his neck. Once you grab the fold under its neck, then you need to uh, reach back with your other hand and place it on about the tail head so that you can control his motion. Once you've caught the fold, there will be a little bit of a struggle as the fold moves around. But hang on because he will settle down very quickly. Once the fold begins to, to settle, then talk very softly to the fold and reassure him that things are all right and kind of rub on the fold. Once you have the foal caught, then try to slip the halter up around the foal's head. If the foal is not used to having a halter on his head, then he may dance uh, around, he may run backwards on you. A way to stop this is to move him into a corner where he has something against his, his hind end. That way, he won't be going backwards on you, and you can use two hands in which to put the halter up on his head. Once you get uh, him in the corner, then reach down, open the halter, and put it up on his head. As you begin to put the halter on his head, make sure that you move slowly because the foal's natural reaction will be to throw his head up. Once you have slowly progressed and got the halter on his head and fastened, then you should rub the foal and reassure him and talk gently to him to settle him down. Once you have reassured him and the foal is calm, then slowly move away from him so that he understands the gentle movement and motion and won't be afraid of you. 